Hello everyone. Today we're gonna run through config presets, one of the modules that's currently in early access, and we will see if it will get to the other tiers, but we'll have a look at what it does. Uh, so the concept is really simple. Basically, uh, you have something that you want to copy the config of, the configuration, and this lets you quickly do it. So let's try it with lights. We have a candle here. We can move it and see that this is this bright light. So let's say we want to place more of them. It's going to be kind of annoying because we need to place this and then edit it, or we need to copy paste this, change the radius. It's kind of annoying. So we can just select this and click the add button. Now that it's added, we can select it. It will be colored this uh, like grayish blue color. Now, if I place any light, it will mirror the settings of that light that we copied. And you can even do more. So let's say we want to change these lights. I can, whoops, I can select multiple objects with a select tool everywhere, which is very suggested if you use this module. And if you have this light selected, you can hit this button, which is the clone button, and this will apply this preset to everything that you have selected. You can hit yes, and there you go, it's done. Um, outside of this, we can make more cool things. Uh, let's see what we can do. Let's say we have a light like this, and we want some settings like we want the color intensity. Uh, now, I created this with the preset, but it doesn't really matter. Let's disable it. We, we like this, we like the intensity, and we like the mysterious emanation for some reason. And maybe we want the light to be like a 90 degree emission angle and rotated for some reason. We update this light, and now I can create a preset, right? I add it in, if I select a different light, select this preset, hit the clone, and I can apply it. If I create a new light, it creates it like this. Now, for example, the rotation is one of the data um, input fields that is not kept. But we'll check that later. So let's say we just want some of this stuff and not uh, all of this useless thing. We can edit the presets. So now this will expose the data of the light itself. And we can remove properties as we wish. For example, maybe we don't want the flags, right? Maybe this light has a levels range and we don't want that. So we can remove the flags, we can remove the hidden, we can remove this T, which I don't remember what it is, but we can just keep, for example, the um, light animation. So now I can close this edit thing. And if I place the light, it didn't keep uh, the data. It just kept the animation. Now you don't see the animation because uh, I'm assuming Foundry wants you to have like a color or something. Yeah, there you go. But in this case, we just kept the animation or we just may want to keep something else. But that's the idea. Now in the remote case that you want to keep the full setting of a light, there is a new setting. If you go into the config presets, you can keep all the data from the original object. So let's say we create a new one. Now I'm getting a bit confused, so let's rename this uh, red light. And now this will keep all the data, including the position um, and other stuff that you might or might not want. So let's see what this does. Let's save this, let's select. Now I'm gonna remove the old light here. If I create a light, as you can see, it cloned the old one completely. So if you use this option, you might want to uh, select what stuff you want. So this will prevent config presets to auto-filter some stuff. But in this case, for the light, for example, we might want to keep some of these settings. So right now, if I create it, the X and Y is kept, but the size is always the same, so I can rapidly create multiples, right? 
And the cool thing about this is I'm showing it off with lights because it's more visual, but it's the same for walls, it's the same for drawings, it's the same for tiles. And you can save uh, even flags. And that is another cool thing. Let me uh, disable this because I kind of don't want it. So if I place down a tile, and let's say uh, this tile for some reason has like settings for levels. So let's make it overhead, show, maybe it's a better roof tile, I don't know. Uh, let's do fade, show, whatever. Like this is better roof stuff. So we update this and now we save it. And this will keep uh, the, um, the settings for modules, not only better roofs, but any modules settings will be stored inside the flags. So VR tile. And if you want to not preserve that, if you remove flags, it will remove every module property that this specific object has. And right now, if I place another tile with this selected, it will also use uh, the configuration that we gave it. There we go. And this works for everything. I'm going to show you like a kind of nifty use case that I used in one of my sessions. So let's say I have this uh, bat, for example, right? This is my bat, and my um, and I have some cats for some reason, right? Now let's say that my cats need to turn into bats. I use this for commoners that turn into zombies, but the idea is the same. So let's do this. We add it as a preset. Now it has all this stuff, and we can clear it. So. We want, let's say we want these cats, I'm using cats, but to make the same as example as the uh, commoners that became zombies. I wanted to keep the name, I wanted to keep the, the token image, but I want to turn their sheets into zombies because there was going to be a combat. So I have my bat, I'm going to remove everything except the actor ID. And if I leave only the actor ID, if I select now my preset and I select my cats and I apply this preset now my cats are bats and this is just one use case but you can like save a preset for the bars for the display name for the actor link for some reason you can do anything it literally is cloning the data and for the last button if you didn't know this one will export uh, all your all your presets so if you want to share them or something you can and this will import if you if yes they will be imported and if you copy this text field you will basically export export them it's just a, like a text file or whatever uh, and now i think this is uh, most that you need to know uh, there is a button here to um, duplicate a preset if you need and if you right click on a on a name, it will be editable. Right click again and it saves. Uh, this is a search box, so if I search for 5W, uh, 5E, nothing, 5W, and this, sure. So, thanks for watching. This was Config Presets. I hope you enjoyed this module. Uh, I think it's very neat and useful. It can come up in many situations. And see you on the next video.